Hey guys, welcome back. Trip and Farm 4 Pop. I'm your host, Trip Coach. Let's jump right into it. So, we finally get some uh, updates regarding the changes for Drip 2.0. And the TLDR is yes, if you have been a good actor in the space, quote unquote, and compounding and hydrating your little butt off for the last year and a half, you're probably going to get screwed, much like myself. So, the information I shared before about just removing the hydrate button, i.e., on the back end, as well as the front end that is part of it but not all of it so we're gonna get straight into what g money shared in the chats and then i'll break it down to give you the exact numbers in a lot easier to digest format so i went ahead and forwarded all his messages so it's easier to read because barter clown was you know jumping in the middle of it making it hard to follow i'll show you what i'm talking about so if you come to drip you have the uh updates from G Money and Friday, scrolling over here. Friday was the last one. Then you get in here and you can start reading through. But then once you start to get some good information and he's sharing information, here's Ray, just like clapping and talking over Forex, getting random ass emojis in there. Clearly not what people want. Um, and I don't understand why he acts like you know a five year old. So anyway going to go with the forwarded messages and then we'll come back and read the other context of the messages and stuff that he was responding to. All right. So starting at the top, the faucet is not being retired. Inflation is. So it's not that they're getting rid of the faucet. It just, um, it'll still be there and you still use it through triple D. Your question was a yes or a no. And the reply was no. Don't know what that was about. Uh, we'll go back to that. We have discussed the implementation and the internal team is on board. It looks like I will be the dev on the upgrade slash changes. The faucet changes are complete. We need to develop one smart contract to manage an edge case that will occur. That plus additional testing and we're probably a week out can give more updates in a bit. So I would definitely take this more than if it was coming from Forex because we have seen G Money be one to actually execute and um, his timelines are probably a lot more solid and we know that he has done all of the drip updates before. So it sounds as though what I mentioned in my previous video, the keys have been handed to G money. Uh, clearly Forex is still maintaining control of that, but G will be the one making the changes, which I assume will be definitely faster than later. There will be no point in creating additional faucets. The faucet will be there to pay out triple D winnings. That will happen automatically when we push the changes to the contract. So here's the actual uh, meat and potatoes that you want from a high level max payout will become deposits plus hydrates this is the part where i said the uh good actors get screwed this both curbs inflation and rewards good actors in the ecosystem not true <laughs> you will be able to claim out what you have put in via the daily one percent as it exists now we also we will also be deprecating the ability to hydrate. So that's what I was referring to. So they just take that off the front end as well as on the back end as doing so will both increase your deposits and your hydrates, allowing you to two X your drip, which we obviously don't want. There is an edge case where a small percentage of wallets will lose their available. Once the update goes live for those players, we are creating a simple contract that they will be able to claim their drip from example, you deposit 27 K claim 50 hydrated 20 and you have 2 K available. So with this new max payout calculation being deposits plus hydrates, you would have a max payout of 47 K. That would be the 27 plus the 20 and you have claimed 50. So that means technically the wallet is dead and goes to zero. However, the player deserves a 2 K that has been accumulated. So this is what they'll fix. And I'll show you the exact numbers on mine and how this works. Uh, trust me, I absolutely wish we could tell the community to act and have them do so, but the truth is some people will miss it, be on vacation, etc. The 100 day conversation is completely irrelevant. When max payout equals deposit plus hydrates, every wallet will be on a different timeline in terms of when it reaches max payout. And some will die immediately like this one. So if you claim that out, then it's completely dead. And for those that die, if there is an available to be claimed, you will let we will let you still claim it via the separate contract and your available is programmatic. It can say 2K now, but as soon as it's claimed, your max payout will go to zero. Uh, this is mathematically correct, but we aren't adding hydrates to the deposits. Max payouts will literally equal deposits plus hydrates. Claimed stays the same as it is on the UI. I'll, again, I'll explain this with actual numbers. Uh, the rest of this I don't think is actually important because all you guys really want to know about the numbers. But he gives down here 27 point. 
27, 579 plus 22, 808 equals 50,000 max payout. You have claimed 28, so you have 22 left to claim. So that's the simple way to look at it, but let's actually see how it works on the actual UI and with some of the other calculators. So remember the new formula is deposits plus hydrates equal your max payout. And then whatever that number is, minus your claimed is what you will have left. Remember there are edge cases such as myself, which I'll show you where I am already over that amount, but uh, would still be able to claim what has been accumulating. So when I go to my main wallet, the one that maxed out first in this faucet, if I were to add, well, you actually, I'm going to show you on dripnetwork.ca, but if I were to add my deposits plus my hydrates, I think the hydrates is like 20 K. So it gives me like 57 K. And if I were to subtract that from claimed, that's zero. So this wallet is completely dead, but I'll get this. So the easiest way to do your calculations that I'm aware of is to come to dripnetwork.ca because over here you will see your deposits plus your hydrates. Very simple. You'll add these two up and then subtract it from the claim. If it's negative, you got nothing except for whatever this is. So showing you guys in full transparency as I always do. So here's how this works for me. So I just plugged all my wallets in and added it up. So my new max claim amount here, let's bold that. Can we bold that? There we go. Make it stand out a little more. It's basically again, deposits plus hydrates. So that's all this column does, adding the deposits and the hydrates. Then this available is just free money, right? So over here, I have what I've already claimed and this column would take deposits plus hydrates minus the claimed and that gives me this. So if you see the new max basically minus claimed, this is what's available to me. This wallet is going to be dead. I will get this 1961. So I need to fix that. So the new total amount of drip I will get is 53,000 before I would have received approximately 150,000. So I lost a hundred thousand potential drip. So yep, I am wrecked. Well, I was wrecked before I already said that I've kind of uh, thrown this away and said it's a wash. So before I would have needed about 20 cents to ROI and it would have been a year later from now or whenever. Um, but now it could be much sooner rather than later, not the ROI part, but claiming out all of my drip. So I would recommend you all go to dripnetwork.ca, plug in your wallet, and then just add these up, put it into a spreadsheet and see what you're owed. That's the easiest way to break down what G money has said. And this is the only piece that matters right here. So deposits plus hydrates become the new max. And then again, whatever you've already claimed is going to be tacked on to that when you subtract the difference. And remember also, you're going to be hitting Wells tax. So it's going to even be less than this for me with this wallet and this wallet, because these already have the uh, more than 10 K claimed. So I'm showing that I get this amount, but remember, well tax is still there. Nothing changes. So yes, I am not in favor of this new system. Um, I was on board before the way I thought Forex was explaining it, but yeah, this definitely does not benefit the people who have been, um, exhibiting quote unquote, good behavior as he stated up here somewhere. Um, it's a double edged sword. I know they got to do something, but, um, this sucks to say the least. And people like Ray that have leached the system will still benefit dramatically from all the other wallets they've airdropped. Granted, going into the future, maybe this can balance out some. And the only play now at this stage is either, yeah, claim out. Um, so right now, don't hydrate at all. You're just going to force this number up and shoot yourself in the foot. So just let it accumulate and or claim it because it does the same thing. But I would just personally let it accumulate. There's no reason to do anything else. Why waste the gas um, doing anything with it? Because Drip's not going to change dramatically. I mean, maybe, maybe there gets a price pump and you could dump all at once or something like that. I have no idea, but for me, I'm just letting it accumulate. Um, and we will have to see what happens, uh, three to four months from now when people have accumulated all of their drip that they will get. And, 
start claiming out or selling because I have no idea what the future of drip will hold at that stage though. But once it stops inflating um, and people are still supporting drip via the additional dApps and projects, this could turn around. So if you are still bullish on the actual future of the drip community, not necessarily what Forex is developing, but just the drip community and its ability to rally and work together, then eventually this could have a very positive effect deflationary wise if enough drip is being moved around even creating uh new pools and stuff like that i have no idea but me personally now after this change that forex has made i do not trust anything he's putting out i've been wrecked from every single one of his protocols and this is now wrecked again so um i don't trust anything he says and or does it has not proven from a financial standpoint to do anything that he said. Um, yes, I realize we need to change drip, but yeah, this does not help me one iota. So that's why I think the focus for me is to build stuff on my own with the community, because when you rely on devs, you are at the mercy of them and whatever they feel like doing, you're just stuck with it. So I'd much rather have my own control. All right, that's all I got. So if you want some clarity on that again, jump into the drip chat if you have it i will try to i will screenshot this and put it into the uh community part of youtube because that's all that we need just this part but to understand your own personal wallet go over to dripnetwork.ca and look at the values that's the easiest way to do it remember add your deposits plus your hydrates that is your new max wallet then subtract your claimed and you will find out if you have anything coming back or not and then the edge case, if you are a negative amount like this one, this would actually be negative, then you still get your available. Hope that is clear as mud at this stage. Smash that HBO special, help brother out, like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.